good morning guys yes indeed it is a good morning we're gonna get out of this dirt lot yeah we had us a good night's sleep i know that sun is probably blinding that camera like crazy there looking out of the window but hey we're gonna say good morning anyways right yeah that's what i figured it's a little rough getting out of here but Nobody coming, so we can get it going. Yeah, there we go. Now we're off the uh, <laughs> off the uh, gravel lot there. So Barrel road ahead. I was the only one sleeping in this town today with the tractor trailer. I guess that's all right. We're getting out of here now, right? Yeah. Well, we got us quite a ways to go yet. We got us uh, 660 kilometers to go to Winnipeg. And that's where we're supposed to drop this trailer. So, uh, so yeah, let's put the hammer down and uh, let's go to Winnipeg. Here we are coming into your Tensis Catch Me One. Yeah, that's right. There no. Almost out of Saskatchewan. We only have a little bit more to go and we will be out of Saskatchewan. Yeah, that's right. But before we do that, we're going to go up here to a truck stop just down the road here. Speed limit reduced ahead. Just a little bit down the road here, there is a uh, Petro truck stop. And it's not a Petro. Uh, truck stop like you see in the United States it's a Petro Canada truck stop yeah that's right what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in there and pull in there we're gonna go have us some breakfast I'm getting hungry that's right got another in two kilometers probably to the left on Trans Canada Highway Highway 10 got me another 400 50 kilometers to go yet so uh so yeah we're going to go in there and get us some good breakfast done they got pretty good breakfast in there so i said yeah let's go in there and have us some breakfast i'm hungry that's right it's gotten a little bit cloudy here today started a little fine misty off earlier there a little bit but now it's disappeared I haven't gotten any of that now but but yeah a little bit of a town here we kind of go around it a little bit I guess but but yeah let's go in there and let's get his breakfast all right guys here we are in York Yorkton uh, Saskatchewan as I told you guys we just had a uh, good breakfast over there forgot to take my camera and so I can show you guys but hey guess what we're gonna do something different than uh, what we have been doing in the past here I haven't really done this in a very long time and I got me my case out today look at that guys yeah so we're gonna put this camera this GoPro 4 and uh, we're gonna go ahead and mount it right up there in the mirror so you guys can get a little different angle today so let's go ahead and do that and let's hit the road guys alrighty guys are you guys ready to come and ride along with me on a different angle yeah look at that guys yeah we're going to try some different angles today that's right I mounted that camera up there by the mirror and so we're going to show you a different angle on it I used to do this every once in a while and uh, hadn't done that in a good long while so I said you know what today I feel like changing it up a little bit and giving you guys a little something different so I said you know what why not right let's mount it up there I cleaned the case real good so that way you guys can see through there hopefully that doesn't get uh, too many bugs on it right away So that way you guys can actually see what's going on. Alright, this four-wheeler wants to come down here, so 
Alrighty, here we go. Let's get on the road here. Yeah, you can actually uh, probably see my hood pretty good. Yeah, I figured, you know what? Show you guys a little different angles every once in a while. Especially for those of you that have been new to my channel, you probably have never Continue seen me do this. For 228 kilometers. And I've had this case for a very long time. Just really haven't put the effort in doing that uh, lately, so over the last, you know, probably six months I haven't even done this, so figured, you know what, it's time to do it again. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Give you guys something different every once in a while. I like that, you know. They were calling for some possible thunderstorms up here in this area for tonight, so we're gonna get out of here, right? Before the thunderstorms hits. Plus, we do want to go home, right? I just got kind of hungry there, so I said, yeah, let's go inside, grab us a bite to eat. Now we're full. That was a huge meal that I had there. So now we're no longer hungry whatsoever. That's right. But yeah, here we are. I guess that van there didn't make it anymore. Yeah, we still have about four and a half, four and three quarter hours to go yet till we get home. So we got us a good way to go yet. But hey, at the end of the day, we'll be home unless something goes wrong. That's right. I'm happy though, I, I'll be home and I'll be taking two days off this time. Ned. I was thinking just doing a reset and go again, but I gotta get an oil change done on Monday. I already talked to my mechanic, so uh, I'll go in there on Monday and get an oil change done and then that way uh, we can take care of business and that way we have uh, new oil in the engine again. It'll run nice and smoothly again. Not that it's running rough, but hey, the oil has been in there for a good while, so it's I'm actually overdue for an oil change already. I, I'm probably about 2,000 miles more than I really like to drive. But it's because I had such a long trip this time, I didn't expect to have that, so... So yeah, but that's okay, I guess. Now we're going to get oil changed and then uh, we'll be happy campers again, right? That's the plan anyways. <laughs> but yeah, let's continue on rolling along here. I know it's pretty flat up here. It may not be the best sceneries for you guys, but hey, hopefully I can be entertaining enough to uh, where you guys will continue watching it. All right, guys, here we are coming up to the Manitoba border. Yeah, we're finally gonna be on the home turf again. Look at that. Saskatchewan border and Manitoba border. Yeah, welcome to Manitoba, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're officially home, sweet home. Well, at least in our, in our province, right? Crossing border, entering Manitoba. Changing time, Changing zone. time zone. There you go. There you go. It started drizzling again here a little bit ago, but now that's disappeared again. Yeah, I'm hoping I won't be drizzling too much here because I do have my camera out there. Not that it can get wet, I do have it in that waterproof casing. But uh, once it rains, it you know, the lens gets dirty and uh, you can't see through it anymore. So hopefully that ain't going to be the case. But yeah, here we are. Here we are coming downhill into the uh, Russell, Manitoba first valley up here and now it's starting to drizzle again <laughs> but yeah this is one of the biggest valleys up here uh, we geared her down and uh, we got our engine brake going right now so that way we don't go 100 miles an hour down this hill keep her within the speed limit right but yeah I hope that the outside camera does justice in showing you guys. Here we are guys, just going down another valley. Yeah, we just came off of the Highway 16. And now we go down Highway 10 a little bit for a few miles. 
And then we make another left going uh, onto Highway 16 again. So we'll be in uh, Nipawa here in a little bit. I think we got about half an hour to go up to Nipawa. And then, uh, and then I'll be, uh, I'll be uh, on Highway 1 pretty soon. I'll be another hour and a half. I'll be on Highway 1. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, this man just uh, sent me a message here a few minutes ago already saying that they uh, want me to pick up a uh, loaded trailer from the terminal and bring it to Steinbach. Yeah. That's what they said, so uh, let's see. Yeah, in about a mile we gotta turn left here on to go back onto Highway 16, but yeah, so we'll be bringing a loaded trailer, I believe, from the yard there in Terminal in Winnipeg back to Steinbach too, so oh well, at least we'll get paid for, uh, for uh, coming home from Winnipeg, so that's awesome. I'll probably put me home a little bit later, but that's okay. At least we'll get paid for that. Man, these roads are rough up here. Yeah, I wish they had like a nice smooth road like most of these places in the U.S. have, you know. But anyways, we'll get on down the road here. Here we are coming into Winnipeg, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. We are now officially in Winnipeg. All right, RJ, you go ahead and tell them. That's right. We are now in Winnipeg. I'm happy, happy, happy. Yep. We got to go make our uh, drop here at the customer. We got 11 kilometers to go. And then we'll go bob till over to the terminal and pick up a load of trailer over there, I understand. Bring it to the yard. Beautiful sunshine out there today. Yeah, I'm hoping that you guys enjoy that little uh, clip there outside. A little different angle. Yeah, I just hope this camera picks up my audio really good so that way you can hear me. We're going to be muting the other camera or taking the audio out of there. So you don't hear the wind noise hauling around the camera. Yeah, it's been up there all uh, pretty much all day long. You know, I put it up there uh, when I stopped there in Yorkton, uh, Yorkton, uh, Saskatchewan, and it's been up there ever since. All the rough road and everything, it's been able to withstand all of that. So that's good. But yeah, so let's go make our delivery. We should be there in 15 minutes. Oh, well, we don't have to deliver. We're just dropping the trailer at the customer. So. No big deal, right? I'm very surprised that Winnipeg has finally decided to fix this Inkstead Boulevard here. Look at that, they got brand new asphalt down here. It's nice and smooth again. This was a terrible stretch of highway to travel on, especially with bobtailing the way we are right now, you know? And yeah, now it's brand new road. Whoa, that's nice and smooth compared to what this used to be, man. Wow, I'm impressed. Good job, Winnipeg. <laughs> yeah, this used to be terrible, terrible. I mean, you couldn't much, you can couldn't get it much worse than this stretch. It was almost like driving gravel road, you know? Like this is one stretch that a lot of trucks travel on. And uh, it was terrible. Well, it looks like they fixed it up to about here somewhere, but at least they've been working on it, you know. I guess they fixed that worst stretch of it anyway, so that's awesome. I have just gotten my loaded trailer from the terminal. Yes, indeed. I sure did. And now we're making our way home, sweet home, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. This is the happiest time of my trip, man. When you can go home and be with the family, especially when you're gone for like this long that I have been, you know. I bet you even some of you guys are not used to seeing me being on the road for this long, you know. 
But yeah, that does happen in the trucking industry on a regular basis, guys. So if you want to be a truck driver, this is what I talk about. Do your research and uh, find out how long you're going to be on the road for, like when you're uh, signing up with a company. I mean, generally, our company, we're not long gone like I am this trip. And some of it was my fault too, probably a little bit, because I just kept telling them, send me wherever you want to send me, right? But uh, a lot of companies will actually demand that you uh, stay out this long or even longer than what I have, especially in the United States, you know? So do your research when you want to drive for a company or you want to just switch a company, whatever, you know? Do your research, talk to those drivers and find out if, uh, that company is really pushy or how often you can expect to be home you know like I mean you're never guaranteed anything in the trucking industry like even if they say you're gonna be home every seven day that's not gonna be necessarily the case all the time guys you know they can promise you all they want a truck can break down things can happen a load gets cancelled or you couldn't get a reload or things change plans change you know it happens all the time so you can't always expect to be home on a certain day when you're a long haul truck driver you know short haul yeah that's a better chance you're going to be home but on a short on a long haul that's a very good possibility that you're not going to be home when whenever you want to be home you know but hey that's trucking for you and uh, as long as you accept that uh, when you get into the trucking uh, business then you know what to expect and that's why it's good to watch me because every once in a while I'll give you tips like that you know or, or ideas like that or I tell you about it I tell it the way it is you know that's just me the way I see it the way I think and the way I see it is the way I'm gonna tell you guys <laughs> I see it <laughs> I ain't gonna bullshit you guys and tell you that trucking is all fine and dandy all the time and it ain't <laughs> that ain't the case far from it it's not always like the way it did this trip I mean this trip was outstanding in my opinion I I really didn't have to wait too much at all on this trip I mean yeah I waited uh, about four hours there at one customer there on uh, on my uh, trip from uh, well Ontario towards Arkansas but hey that's not bad you know like that's nothing to complain about really I mean yeah you might not like it right away when you're sitting there but when you really uh, take it on uh, on an average in the trucking industry that sure ain't that bad you know like I mean I know from a lot of especially in the refrigerated uh, division like holding reefer and stuff sometimes you can sit a day or two before you get a reload you know like not all the time but Especially if you go up to California, Florida, Texas, you know, those places like, uh, you're not always going to have a reload right away, so that's just the way trucking is, guys, and gals as well, there's a lot of lady drivers out there too, and my hat is off to you ladies, you guys are doing a fantastic job, some of you ladies are better drivers than guys, oh yeah, that's a fact. But hey, thumbs up for us, right? We're on our way home. It has been such a long time since I've been in this town. It's unreal, man. <laughs> I don't even know what to expect anymore. But hey, let's see if they gotten any further with this construction project up here yet. Doesn't really look like it. But hey, oh well. We still have the right lane closed up ahead of us there, that's what it looks like. And uh, the town I'm talking about is my hometown. This is Steinbach, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's right. Nice, beautiful day out here today, isn't it? I think so, it is. All we gotta do is a few more lights and we'll be at our terminal. And we'll drop our load off and bob till home. Yeah. I'm excited for that moment. Hey guys, we have made it home. Look at that. Look what the family is up to over here. They just finished cooking a stew, it looks like. And guess what we're up to? <laughs> oh, that tastes good. We had a nice shower. 
No, it's time to eat with the family, eh? What do you say, Diego? Gonna be good? Yep. Yeah? Let's get to eating then, if it's that good. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come. I'm breaking the wall.